There's almost nothing black folks can do to shock me. Huh? Is that bad? Ah, uh, yes, and they, uh, yeah. But this Keefe D situation is one of the rare moments that I'm left stunned. Keefe D, for you guys who don't know, is the man who was arrested for the murder of Tupac Shakur. Hey, Keith, Metro Police, come over here. Hey, Metro Police, come over here, all right? Thanks, buddy. Come on over here. Appreciate your cooperation, okay? I'm gonna stand right here in front of the car. Yep, buddy. Yep, go and I'll put it down. I know, hang on. Put, put that down for a second, all right? Now, Keefe D was arrested after dodging an arrest for almost 30 years because he went on multiple interviews and told on himself. And tonight, we are learning more about the evidence against him. Fox 5 has a look at the evidence used to convince a grand jury to indict a Henderson man on a murder charge. Police believe that he was the mastermind behind the crime and now believe that they can prove it. Seeing all the on the news, like, damn, I got away. That was Dwayne Keefe Davis's reaction after Tupac's murder, recounted during a podcast. Davis, who now calls Henderson home, had his house raided by Metro back in July and was arrested on Friday after these pictures, videos, and interviews were presented to a grand jury. The grand jury finding there was enough evidence to try him for the 1996 drive-by killing. He is also accused of plotting the murder. Despite going on multiple interviews and telling on himself, I mean, yo, Keefe D was Shakespearean. And how he was telling his stories, bro, he was super descriptive. Now, despite doing all of that and being arrested for it, Keefe D is now in court trying to get bail. And Keefe D is telling the court that he deserves bail and bond in this case as he awaits trial because everything he told the interviewers was all entertainment. In a petition for bond, Keefe D's lawyer will tell the court the truthfulness of the content of the interviews was never verified. The book and interviews were done for entertainment and to make money from a situation that Caden and others had already profited from. Keefe D took a proffer agreement with law enforcement officials when they offered him immunity about a decade or so ago, and he confessed the same thing to them that he confessed in the interviews, but the immunity only lasted for the police interview, not the interviews for hip-hop media blogs. But Keefe D had a 30-year head start, and I'm kind of like like bewildered that after a 30 year head start, <laughs> this was the best excuse you could come up with. Like, bro, you committed a murder almost 30 years ago. Like you could have had a better excuse, bro. You could have had a better plan to map out how you're going to beat this case. This ain't it. Keefe D's lawyer will continue in his petition to the court. And he will state that Dwayne should not be denied bail in this case. It cannot be said that the proof is evident and the presumptions great that Dwayne is guilty of first-degree murder for the death of Tupac Shakur. The motion reportedly reads, this court should release Dwayne on house arrest and electronic monitoring pending in trial. Keefe D's lawyer requested a court release Keefe D on house arrest with an ankle monitor, and he has some pretty compelling reasons. Keefe D allegedly committed his murder in the 90s. It's been almost 30 years since, and Keefe D hasn't had a violent crime since. So he's not really a threat to the public at this particular point, or at least the last 30 years doesn't show he's a threat to the public. But while Keefe D's lawyer is pushing for Keefe D to be released on an ankle monitor, the prosecution came with bombshell evidence that took Keefe D's lawyer and Keefe D by surprise. You see, the prosecution showed proof that Keefe D is actually a threat to the public. Prosecutors alleging the man accused of ordering the murder of Tupac Shakur reacted approvingly to gang activity from jail as he attempts to walk free pending his trial. It's according to documents that you know investigators reviewed today. Dwayne Davis's public defenders are asking a judge to release him with some stipulations, adding his public statements about being there the night of Shakur's murder were for entertainment purposes. Prosecutors alleging Davis called his wife and son in October, where they say Davis appeared to react well to news of a possible hit on a witness so much so the government actually stepped in to get that person relocated keep the 3d chess being played by the prosecutors so the witness list got accidentally leaked to keep D's family by the prosecutors and then all of a sudden the witnesses started being targeted and attacked one member got targeted and attacked so severely that the prosecutors are now fearing for their life 
But here's the thing, right? So whenever the witnesses gets attacked, when Keefe D calls back home, they will let him know, yo, this person just got hit up. According to prosecutors, when Keefe D family members would alert them over the phone that the witness just got hit up or when they would inquire about putting a hit out on a particular person they believe will be testifying against Keefe D, Keefe D will respond back with green light, <laughs> green light. As if it's 1996 and the police don't know what green light means. And this is shocking to me because Keefe D is a high ranking old gang member who's been in the system a couple of times. You would think you would at least know, bro, police calls are recorded. We're not talking about nothing incriminating over the police calls. And even the family members of Keefe D, how would they allow the police department, the prosecution, to trick him off the streets like this, bro? Bro, you know it's a setup, man. Bro, y'all thought it was that easy? Y'all thought the police department accidentally leaked a witness to you guys by accident? Man, stop it, bro. <laughs> stop it, man. Yo, this is what I be saying, bro. Like, how do y'all get tricked off the streets like this, man? And now you know more charges is coming, <laughs> right? And Keith E.D. for greenlighting it and the other people for orchestrating it. Y'all know more charges is coming, bro. They're trying to trick everybody off the streets. Bro, this is just sad, man. All right, and again, I don't know what's next for Keefe D. I hope, I hope if he's innocent, he beat it. And I hope if he's guilty, he gets held accountable. But I just don't want for anybody else to get involved in Keefe D's mess. It makes no sense for y'all to be chatting over a jailhouse phone and putting hits on witnesses, bro. Now, let me know in the comment section, what do you guys think about this, all right? All right, is Keefe D innocent or is Keefe D guilty? And if you're still watching, Click on this video here somewhere on my screen to find out how Rory tried to end Joe Budden's career by revealing this particular information. Click on this video here to find out what I'm talking about. I'm out of here, folks. Peace.